Hello, this is Liz Kelly live with the Goody Awards, and we are at a special event with actor John Savage, who we are honoring tonight with a Golden Goody Award for his humanitarian work. And John, you, you've got 181 film credits. That's a lot. You've been all over the world. Yeah, I've been lucky uh, just to work with people in all different parts of the world and all over America. Uh, we were just talking about that, how a lot of times we don't know who our neighbors are. And uh, in this country, we've got people, you know, who have come from all different countries and different cultures, and uh, pretty much we just take it for granted that everybody's the same in the rest of the world. And those border, you know, lines we see drawn around countries are just, uh, you know, all the same people inside, and that's not the way it works. And tonight's event is actually for the victims of the typhoon in the Philippines. And I know uh, John did the movie, one of my favorites was Message in a Bottle, which was about being on the ocean. And the ocean, I know you also narrated the film The Carrier. So tell me about The Carrier. Uh, Carl Vincent, Carl Vincent uh, Carrier. I mean, it was amazing just to, you know, meet a lot of the young sailors and uh, people uh, involved with this ship. Uh, and learn a little bit more about what our Navy's about, traveling uh, all over the world to help people like with the incident in the Philippines. Our, our, uh, so a lot of our ships went there right away with aid. And uh, it's been, you know, the carrier's been in, in uh, pretty much every ocean where there were terrible uh, earthquakes or storms, but uh, also, you know, for security in uh, parts of the world where there's uh, conflict. We've got... Uh, you know, such a great um, a, a participation in the rest of the world that we don't really hear about, whether it's through our military, uh, going to the aid of uh, uh, people in, in stress in the rest of the world where, you know, food and water is important and medical aid. They're there. Um, and uh, as the Philippines are in, in, in just so many dynamic uh, cultural differences and areas of that, of that part of the world and that country. Um, they have some turmoil. They also have a very good government. Um, and uh, they've been working, you know, to uh, deal with the situation of this terrible storm that's uh, destroyed uh, water supply and food supplies and housing and and uh, they're working with, uh, we're working with them uh, to, you know, help the communities rebuild, do their, do their best to rebuild. And um, we don't realize how big that, that area is. It's, uh, it's, ex ex it's extraordinary uh, territories with islands and uh, mountainous regions. And uh, we've participated in, you know, in, in their growth. We have many parts of the world in America. And... I think we, we really must feel proud and continue to work, whether it's through our faith organizations or our government organizations, to recognize that we're neighbors in this country and around the world. Those are our neighbors over there. What, the, what seems like a small amount, you multiply that by several hundred million people in America, and that's felt all over the world. Every country I've been to, there's been a significant uh, compliment to those efforts by the people in those countries from America. Uh, this is something that we should, fe we should feel proud of and also just be, be kind of more interested in what, what it is that's going on in that part of the world, who, the, who those folks are. It'll help this country. Our future in this country depends on the future of the rest of the world. Our relationship with the rest of the world is, is brand new all the time. It's got to be encouraged. It, uh, it, it, it is, and it's evolving, especially with uh, social media. We've been able to see what's going on in the Philippines firsthand. And the Goody Awards, we do a lot of awards through Twitter. And we actually have people from over 20 countries tweeting us every day. And we are closely connected to a lot of people and, and through our, uh, our, our businesses, uh, our major corporations, whether oil companies or or technology uh, and electronic firms and things like that, we're, we're growing with the rest of the world. They're growing with us. Uh, children are looking forward to more uh, involvement with uh, what we have in this country. I'm going to move this forward just because uh, we got to get John to the stage so he can accept his award. But um, 
No, I, I mean, really, John has done so many things this year with uh, Global Green, Safety Harbor Kids. Uh, you can find him on every green carpet, and, and we're just so grateful to have you as a leader. And uh, I have one more question, John. Uh, tell us, 181 movies, what's your favorite movie that you did? The next one. <laughs> I love that. And you have 10 movies in post-production right now. I don't keep I don't keep count. Um, uh, I just have a little Christmas film on. A little. Uh, I'm a judge in the film, and Santa's on trial. I won't let you know what the outcome is, but uh, I believe he comes out all right in the long run. So it's it's really cute. It's called Defending Santa. So you have to watch it. So thank you, John, so much. Oh, thank you. Yeah. And, and uh, God bless. Happy holidays. Happy holidays.